Hello, it's me. Wizzy Weta! Beard lovers, it's January 5th. On this day in 1840, blah, the House of Representatives voted to stop sharing the Oregon Territory with the British or the U United Kingdom. Hashtag org exit. That's right, Uck, what you gonna do about it? We got the Oregon Territory. Manifest destiny, more like manifest destiny, you know what I'm saying? It's because of this that the game The Oregon Trail isn't a bunch of people sitting around drinking tea and saying, gold save the queen. Quite right, quite right, governor. Hello. <sighs> I always get angry comments when I do that, but I can't stop. Should be fine, it's not like hyper-nationalism's in vogue right now. Yes, I know you don't talk like that. I spent three weeks in London. Nando's? Oh my god, delicious! I love your casual dining culture that originated in South Africa and is now spreading to the US. I also had other great things, fish and chips, curry, Starbucks, pasties. Past, oh my god, pasties are delicious, but I thought it was pronounced pasties and I thought I was gonna get something that I could stick to my nipples to cover them up because I wanted to take my shirt off because it was kind of a hot day. But what I got was so much better, delicious food and much needed vitamin D to my nipples and the world got to see my nipples, so you're welcome. But that's all in the pasty. And yes, Americans talk in dumb ways all the time too. Have you seen a Wheezy Waiter video? We all talk in dumb ways. The world would be a better place if we all just agree that we're all equally dumb. I mean, except for me. In addition to being January 5th, 2017, today is also Thursday, which is named after the Norse god of thunder. Under Thor. Krakow! No, I am not referring to the city of Krakow, Poland. I mean no disrespect. I'm sure your Nando's is equally delicious. I am talking about the sound of thunder, though I'll do it differently so as not to offend. Interlaken! That's a Swiss city. Schenectady, New York. No, I think you get the idea. Anyway, it's funny that it's Thursday because I just so happen to be fashioning an invincible hammer today that only I can pick up. Huh. Why am I doing that? Well, I know what's up. You can never be too careful. I have seen the Real Housewives. Okay, right. oh, that hurt. Here it is, the hammer that only I can pick up. How did I do it? Well, for many months I have sprinkled various meats and cheeses into my beard, a hair cootery if you will, and of course refrained from showering, and then I spent several weeks rubbing this into my beard, eventually infusing a smell so putrid no one would want to be near it. This may be the reason my wife is not appearing in the videos as much lately. Finally, today it has reached peak stench, and only I can tolerate it. Why is that? A stinky man can only smell the stink of another man's stink, not his own. Henry Wadsworth Longsmellow. So, the untouchable hammer, but why is it all powerful? Well, I still need to add one more thing. Don't mess with me. I dropped the gun. I dropped the gun. Well, it's fun while it lasted. Well, shoot, looks like she's dead, boys. Let's pick her up, take her to the graveyard. Oh, hang on a second. It looks like he's got a copy of Braveheart. Let's watch the end of Braveheart first. Guess what? It is now time for what we here at Weezy Studios are calling Thursday Things. Thursday Things. It is the time in the video during which we do a thing. Yep. And for today's thing, I'm going to respond to some comments. Tom Urudia wants to know what I thought of Rogue One and if all these new Star Wars films are too much. Well, I have to say, Rogue One blew me away from thinking it was a great film. It's alright. I was kind of bored by the first half. The second half battle was really pretty cool. But all in all, Meh. Which is better than meh. Am I concerned that there's too much? No. I say bring it on. More and more Star Wars. Some will be bad, some will be good. A good movie's a good movie. If it's a good original story, that's fine. If it's a good sequel or remake, that's fine too. Can there be more great comic book movies? Of course there can. Can there be more great Star Wars movies? Of course there can. Can there be more great Wheezy Waiter videos? The problem is when you keep revisiting a franchise, you risk making it all just about the franchise and nothing else. A great story should be greater than the sum of its parts. If the best parts of Rogue One were just the parts where it referenced other Star Wars movies, that's just, that's fine. But we should strive for more. Another risk is when you oversaturate the market with one type of thing, it drowns out all the other great things that are being made. But I don't think that's happening here. There was plenty of great movies this year that were being made and they made money. I recommend Hell or High Water, La La Land, Manchester by the Sea, Fences, Arrival, and every Wheezy Waiter video that was made last year. Johannes Weiberg comments, stop interrupting I'll us. interrupt you whenever I want. This is my YouTube channel. And Julia the Great asks, will sexy clone ever find love? Well, as you know, to find love, you have to open up your heart. Listen to your heart. Your heart. Heart, 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 heart. And he actually did that recently when he spotted someone across the room in the mirror. I'd hit that. Me too. <laughs> that is all for Thursday things. Thursday things. And that is all for the video. Thank you for watching yesterday's video here. You could subscribe up here or you could go over to Patreon to support this channel. There's extras like bloopers, scripts and notes, which I like to call scrotes. No, I don't. And don't forget, if you hated this video, please click thumbs down and unsubscribe. Now I'm gonna go watch the end of Braveheart.